Welcome to the uh, award banquet. Oh, the for Quantum Snipe National. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, we sure did. And I uh, hope you come back again as soon as we can out. So, uh, anyway, we're going to close up this one with um, the Daily Award thing, which we didn't do yesterday because you got in at about six, quarter up, and we didn't have time. And um, today you got in really early, so move this up a little bit and we'll do it. So, Kevin and Dale, go. All right, we got the crew of 22. <laughs>
would like to thank everyone for coming to the 2024 Bond Night Nationals. We hope you had a great time and the event lived up to and will continue to live up to tonight. Your motto is serious sailing, serious fun. Um, we had four interesting and challenging days on the water, and those of you that were here in 2021, pretty much the same. It just kept, it's just a area for sailing, and you really never know. You feel a breeze in here, and you get out there, and it's just completely different. And, um, but you got eight races in, which is great. That's more than you've ever gotten in here before. It was five for the North, North Americans six for the Nationals back in 2019. So we got more races in, which is good. And uh, we had 44 boats in the Heinzerling series and eight in the Wells series. And we had 10 states plus Canada represented here. So again, thank you. I'd like to first, before we get to the awards, recognize and thank several people who made this great event with Regatta happen. I'd like you each to stand up and stay up when uh, I read your name, and, um, and then we'll get on to the awards after that. First, members of the organizing committee, we've been at it since November, I think, approximately. Uh, Jim Bowen. Costco and God knows where and got all sorts of stuff. He was a huge help and he also did a lot of other things behind the scenes. So thanks, Mike. Uh, Peter Dagonis, I don't think is here. He's cruising, but he arranged for the beach, which some of you, I think, really enjoyed. And without that beach, we couldn't hold a regatta like this. Uh, Dale Earl, who's my better half. set up and clean up and all that and uh, it's part of the serious fun and serious eating so uh, thank you very much Martin and Nancy Leon uh, Nancy was the parking star uh, and I must admit it wasn't perfect but you guys continue to improve each year with not parking in the main lot at least that's my perspective. I'll, I'm sure I'll hear about it later, and it doesn't really matter. But uh, anyway, uh, on the beach, dragon dollies, the whole week. And, uh, Linda Linda okay, uh, she's got some back issues and has trouble, but uh, she did all the design, she organized the auction, and she did a lot of miscellaneous. She does great work. So, excellent. Julia Marsh, the sailor of the regatta, with she, uh, she arranged for housing and ended up giving us five very nice and lovely people in our house, which when I heard about this, I thought, oh my gosh. Five people, and they're coming in on Saturday and Sunday, they're going to be here a week, but it's fun buying, we've had a good time. So, thanks for your work. Here. I think he's still getting his daughter situated at camp, but again, I mentioned him in the beginning, I'll mention him tonight. He gave me a lot of advice throughout, did some social media stuff. Uh, his heart is still really with his fleet, and uh, yeah, we missed him, but we got through it. So, thanks, Shan. Uh, a huge helper is Alex Klein. Uh, we 
don't have a snipe fleet here. We, we have a paper fleet, like a paper street. And um, it, so we don't know a whole lot about snipes. Shan knows more than anybody, but he, he really doesn't write snipes anymore. So uh, we needed an expert that could, you know, draft the NOR, help with the SI, although Susie drafted it, um, and just give me advice throughout on site specific stuff. So we, we ran this in the way you guys like it to run. So uh, Alex, thank you very much. And good luck as the secretary. <laughs> Uh, Art and Jennifer Roseman here. Uh, and this again shows the cooperation across the SNIPE organization. I mean, Alex is in Annapolis, as you know. And Art and Jennifer are in uh, Mystic, and um, it, it really helps complement those of us up here. To, pull off a good regatta. So, Art did uh, charters, and I think we had three, and uh, that went smoothly. And uh, Jennifer did a marvelous job on uh, measurement. Um, we, a lot of stuff, you guys helped by filling out that information form, but a lot of things have been done in advance. We kind of knew what was coming and what wasn't coming, and it worked out really effectively. So, uh, thank you, Art and Jennifer. I have noticed this is alphabetic. And finally is Bart Weldon, who Bart was charged along the water operation. He arranged for all the uh, boats, got all the people. I think I think we probably had over I know we had over 40 volunteers. And the club the club was generous enough to support the testament. So you know, the club was very important in making this happen through the generosity and, uh, and the work itself. All right, the Regatta PRO, uh, Susie Sinclair. Susie Sinclair. Sinclair was a wonderful woman who died in 1980. Sorry. Susie Snyder um, and the race committee. And So, uh, as you guys know, we, we kind of stopped traveling a lot of our perpetuals. We have the Wells and the Heinzling here. Uh, Alex came up with a wonderful idea of making uh, pictures to be sent to the winners of each of the perpetuals. So, uh, with that, the, and we don't have them here, we're going to mail them at a later date. But the Mecklenburg Duncan Trophy uh, goes to the chairman of the race committee. Uh, of the Sky USA National Championship, which would be Susie Sinclair. So everyone, I think give her a round of applause. Susie Snyder, sorry. Most of them would have done this even without the work assessment. 
quite frankly. I mean, it's nice to get that. They're just a really good group. And most of them did it for the last two regattas also. And uh, give them a round of applause. Sometimes, but you, you get to know his personality, it goes just fine. Um, sponsors, uh, you guys pay about 60% of the expenses. We got to find the 40% somewhere else. And uh, it costs about 35k to put this on. And uh, the sponsors, plus the auction, which thank you very much for a lot of you who bid on items. And the swag, clothing. Uh, we make enough money there to not have to cut any corners to try to give a lot of you travel a long way. We'll try to give you the bang for the buck as far as coming. So, uh, thanks to all the sponsors that are mentioned behind you there and uh, on the banner. And, uh, they, they really help. The club officers, staff, and members of the club. Um, you know, it's a big club, it's a tight footprint, and um, they, they, do, they really cooperate in, in a lot of different ways. And um, special thanks to John Hopkins, who runs the yard. He was huge. And uh, we had two or three big boats on the top. Thank you very much. Okay, so before we get to the awards, I'd just like to introduce uh, first uh, Julie Pamino, who's the Vice Commodore of Jubilee. And uh, we have a few fun awards, which we're going to get right now. 
and then uh, and then join join us also in the photo shoot, which Bruce, I think you can take photos of the award winner. And in many cases, it's skipper and crew, you know. So um, I started. Okay, on the uh, fun awards, uh, most challenging day. Uh, uh, that was on Wednesday when one boat capsized. And I think well, two boats capsized, but one of them had capsized, I think had some other foot difficulties either that day or the next day. So you might be able to call it a challenging series, I don't know. But uh, Ben Cat and Pablo are you guys here?
went to the Yacht Club, Wayne Waddle and Miranda Beckham.
come back? What do you think? How did I do? <laughs>
from Coconut Grove Sailing Club, 24 points. Augie Diaz with Christine De Silva. Oh, Justin, 
Trevor, I'm sorry. Get up here again. <laughs> They got it. Okay. So they got it. One last perpetual trophy that's not here again that we'll be sending a picture of. Uh, I think it, he deserves another standing ovation just for this awesome week that he's put on for us. Is the uh, it, it's the national secretary trophy and it goes to the chair chairman of the regatta. Uh, it goes to Paul Earl this year. that I introduced earlier made it easy for me. Uh, they all worked really hard. They had specific things. A lot of them complained about the meetings <laughs> because there was always kind of like a standard agenda covering all sorts of topics which are all important to make sure everybody has some kind of uh, common understanding of what's going on everywhere in the reality, whether they were involved in that piece or not. But they got used to it. And I think what happens is after God knows how many meetings and emails and everything else. Uh, everybody's on the same page. Everybody can kind of back up other folks in different areas. Everybody gets to know more about areas they didn't know anything about before. And uh, it works. Without a lot of preparation, you can't do it that way. At least I can't. Uh, it, so it's a pleasure to work with all of you. I kind of like to do something like this again, but they keep saying, some of them are saying, no, no, this is it. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, we, we all have, we all don't live forever, obviously. And, uh, but I don't know. You're, you're, you're a really fun group. We had 22, I think I mentioned at the beginning, 22 new people. New hosts this time, 44 new people. And a whole bunch of you that came back. That it was good to see you again. So, uh, Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, Paul.